Hi, this is Anthony with TradingETFs.com. Today is February 24th, 2020. And we wanted to go over uh, an article we wrote a few weeks back here in the featured section on our website. And it was in regards to the ETF TQQQ. Um, how to avoid big losses trading ETFs like TQQQ. And what we mentioned in the article here is we showed a chart of the, uh, it's a weekly chart of the price relative to the 200 day moving average. And you can see here that going back to January 2018, the price was about 61% above the 200 day moving average. And then you can see the different other interval uh, uh, time frames here showing 59% above, 46%, 44 and the article that we wrote on February 10th, it was at 56% uh, above the 200-day moving average. And we talked about um, that there was a lot of risk in the market, and this was not a good time to be trading the, the TQQQ ETF. And we also showed uh, our oscillator. We have a proprietary oscillator that we use, and we were showing here that when you look back in January 2018 and March 2018, our oscillator got up to about 0.16. And just recently, we were above the 0.14 level, and we were suggesting that um, the the top was going to be, uh, or we were pretty close to a top. And so what we wanted to do today in this video is to actually look at the live chart. And so we uh, did the article here back in uh, February or February 10th, the week of. Again, it's a weekly chart. You can see here we moved up a little bit and then we've got a huge reversal the following week and then now we've had a big move to the downside, about 11.5% you can see here. And um, so normally what happens is we, we would see a move down to this 20-day moving average and then we would bounce um, and there's a huge gap right now at about 106, let's just call 106.72. So once we stop to the downside, and maybe this 20-day moving average is going to stop the downside, we most likely get a bounce. Um, potentially, we can get a bounce to close this gap and then fall right back down again. Yeah, we, st we are still looking at a 200-day moving average uh, to provide support. Uh, if the uh, if the ETF can get down that far, so um, we just wanted to do this quick update. Now this is our shorter term oscillator, and you can see here that yes, it's come down from an overvalued uh, stance, but uh, it's still not to the extreme downside like it was back here in December of 2018. So that's again why we're suggesting that we still may go down to this 20-day moving average, taking the shorter term oscillator down um, to get to the real oversold level. We're going to go ahead and switch this oscillator to our longer term oscillator and you can see here that in the article we were about 14 and we said that between uh, 14 and 16 generally the oscillator will top out and we got to about 16 almost and then you can see a big move to the downside. So right now everything is playing out pretty much how we expected. The one thing I will mention is that uh, the, the sell-off today is being attributed to the coronavirus. However, the, the ETF and the market in general was so overvalued, it was just a, an accident waiting to happen. They're using the coronavirus as the, the reason the sell-off has, has come. But when the market gets a, as extreme as it is to the, to the upside, uh, it doesn't take very much for the market to reverse and, and move to the downside. Coronavirus is a factor, but we highlighted in an article that we did uh, just yesterday about volatility on the verge of exploding. And again, up here in the featured section, you can see yesterday we posted this article, Volatility, volatility Explodes Higher. And we posted several links uh, in the article um, referring to other events that have occurred. Uh, for instance, Apple gave a profit warning, uh, an earnings warning. 
Uh, Samsung had closed a facility for a few days in South Korea. So there, there were other issues involved, not just coronavirus, that has taken the market to the downside. Um, you've also got some big political uh, events, like Bernie Sanders winning in Vegas. Um, so again, the, the market likes you to believe that it's just one factor, but it's really not just the coronavirus. That's a smaller factor than everything else that we highlighted in the article. So um, we're going to go ahead and end this video here. If you like the video, hit the like button. We're going to, uh, you should see the articles linked below this video here. And then, um, you know, if you give your comments, uh, we are pretty good at responding to comments. So let us know if you have anything on your mind. Appreciate your time. Have a great day.